drop. Okay, we seem to have some sort of input from your end. That's good. Okay, just so everybody knows, uh, on live stream, this is the... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, no, this... let's not announce anything yet. do the recording first, okay? <laughs> yes, that's right. Let's keep it all secret. Okay, we're recording. Just getting my screen lined up. And let's make the announcement. Whoops, there goes the screen. <laughs> That's okay, that means we're zeroing in. There we go. Okay, so uh, welcome everyone to the 87th Cash Knowledge Seekers Workshop. And it's Thursday, November 12th today, 2015. And uh, once again, uh, Mr. Kesh will be leading the workshop, and I think we'll have um, maybe some pictures or perhaps videos of people in their different um, um, uh, power unit configurations from the Blueprint Week and other, uh, other presentations. Okay, I think we're ready to go, Mr. Kesh. How are you doing there? Good morning, good day to you, and as usual, whenever and wherever you listen to us, we lost the live stream picture at the bottom, audio. Um, uh, as usual, which is tradition with the Cash Foundation, we make certain announcements what is happening, that Cash Foundation supporters worldwide are aware of the progress and where and how things are progressing around with the, the structure of the foundation in their countries and the rest. <clears throat> we have a number of announcements today, good, bad, I don't know, depends on which side of the fence you sit. Uh, one of the announcements we make is that, uh, as you're aware, these power units are on the way to you, or some of you might have received it by now. Um, the certification for European standard CE, which the unit complies with this European standard, was received yesterday. So we are C certificated to a power unit. The same will follow with the car unit. And we have received American certification for the product. So all the products comply with the European regulation and international regulation with the American standard. This brings and opens a channel for MAGRAP systems to be launched on different steps and platforms around the world, because once we receive the CE certificate, all the Cash Foundation's manufacturers who carry our logo will be given the right on the back of this certificate to get their certificates to produce worldwide. This is very important. Because uh, we increased, now that we received the certification, the direct production, we delayed a lot of the things in the slow step till we received the certification. Now that we received the certification, we go to what we planned, we are about four to six weeks behind our plan because of certification, to increase production to 10,000 units per week by the end of this month or beginning of next month. And we go to quarter million in January and one million per month in February, March. We have received a huge incentive from the Italian government to support such a move. And we thank the authorities who are supporting us this way. The other announcement, because the Cash Foundation now has become an end, uh, what we call in the business trade known as a vertical structure. Horizontal structure is when you depend on others to bring things for you to be able to do. Cash Foundation, as part of the structure, has become a vertical system. Don't forget, I have some 20, 25 years experience of international trading at the highest level. 
So I brought all my expertise from my business life, which was shelf for about 15 years. Now that we have become a production company, as well as the research, everything has come together. For us to be effective around the world, we have started, initiated, and start producing on the Cash Foundation manufacturing in 10 to 15 nations in the coming weeks. The United Kingdom has become the first manufacturing which will be headed by, uh, on the technical side, by Alex, and the board of directors sits with my two sons, Ramtin Cash, Dr. Ramtin Cash, and the master of Mujubin, in heading the production worldwide in London. The European section, Italian section, which is a flagship of the whole structure, will sit here with Cash Foundation in Italy. We expect to employ up to 3,000 people in the coming weeks and months as we add into the technology. German structure is in process, Dutch structure in process, and I have initiated the establishment of the Cash Foundation in Belgium last week, and this week we have asked our lawyers and accountants to set up the structure legally. So they start producing by early next year. Philippine Cash Foundation is set as it is. We sit with the structure with uh, production there. This morning I have set up the process of the Cash Foundation manufacturing in China, which means we produce in China directly and we don't rely on the others, but the shareholding of the Cash Foundation stays 51% with us, and the rest goes to the Cash Foundation uh, research centers, which the people who work and develop in China will become part of the shareholding of the structure. So we are prepared to finance very heavily in China for two reasons. First of all, Chinese market is huge. Secondly, we use the Chinese manufacturing to supply, to manufacture goods for Africa and the third world nations. To produce a system here in Italy, to a standard we do, it will cost us, let's say, 100 euro. This allows us to give four units or five units to the third world nations or the poor in the Western world. This way, we can produce maybe instead of four, 10 or 15 units with the same cost, or maybe more. So this gives us what we work on our ethos, that we send goods from China to Africa direct to support. This is what we want to do, it's not just by name, this way gives efficiency to the Cash Foundations and bring jobs into these nations till Africa can stand on its own leg. Cash Foundation Nigeria as a research center and a teaching center and a manufacturing center is initiated and will be inaugurated next Thursday. Hopefully we'll be live in Nigeria with Alex, who's setting it up to open the Foundation Cash Center in Nigeria. Cash Foundation Ghana has been accepted as part of the structure of the Spaceship Institute of Ghana in part of the nuclear industry of the country, and all the documents should be all in sign that Benjamin become part of the structure, within the structure of the country, for development, research, and manufacturing. The process for manufacturing company has already started in Ghana. One of the most important thing, now that we teach, and now we become a structure in manufacturing, is being able to market and control the production with all the cash foundations, 15 of them at the moment, which are coming under organization. Cash Foundation Canada has been financed initially with production of the units for winding for Africa and the rest in Quebec this week. So the Cash Foundation manufacturing, headed by Jeff Dupont and uh, Francois and other Canadians, French-speaking Canadians on one side, and be supporting the West Coast with Rick and others to produce in two locations in, in um, Canada. On the other hand, end of this month, we have a delegation of five South American uh, organizations, banking and the government organizations here in the center to sign for production of seven different factories in seven nations of South America financed by the South American banking system.
next Thursday here in the Keshe Foundation Center as part of the public teaching in the afternoon. We'll invite the world press to test and evaluate things on a public press basis. So we are launching the material directly worldwide next Thursday from this center. The arrangement for the world press to be here to test the Italian press we've been pushing for a few days on us. Now that you release the blueprints, you have to show it. So the system will be here for every single one of them to test and we go public. When we go public in this way, now that we've been waiting for the system to get their certifications, is to have a structure where we can handle the manufacturing, but at the same time as part of the vertical structure, the sales and running management of the sales. What we have done, as a lot of you know, up to now, a company called Magrabs Product in Canada, headed by Kevin Blundell, was selling Magrab products from China, where we were involved. Magrab supplies, headed by Kevin Blundell, is dissolved, and Kevin Blundell, with the team of 100 representatives, have become part of the Cash Foundation as of yesterday. So now we have, with what we received, maybe between three to 500 representative agents around the world, managed and controlled by Kevin Blundell as part of the Cash Foundation. So the MAGRAF system, whatever you ordered, will be completed. And then from now on, you get supplies directly from Cash Foundation. So we covered the distribution side. So if you look at the structure, we have, we do the teaching, we do the development, we do the thing of the equipment and new products. But this side, the testing of new products and bringing new products into the market according to the people who are on the edge of the science with us as part of our world scientists needed somebody who can head and have the enthusiasm and the knowledge of the foundation and the working of the new products. This was somebody we were looking for to bring into the research and development. So as of yesterday, Ren and Lim in Philippines and a team which were working in the background with him and us as part of the Cash Foundation Hidden Research Development for New Innovation has become part of the Cash Foundation team. So the Cash Foundation Innovation is based in Philippines, owned totally by the Cash Foundation and all the employees and the research, the small research lab which we started will start its work and is already working and I even received an email, they're going to buy the furniture for the new research center today. It starts in Philippines. So all, if you have, or you think of a new product, go on the Cash Foundation website. Uh, Vince will put it up. It's in a Cash Foundation or a spaceship institute, most probably forward dash innovations. Go on the page and offer your product. So what you think you want to be produced is good for whatever, and you are given a standard free commission for every product sold, every item sold. These are all computerized. We don't look into it as if you accept the product and- uh, Mr. Cash, can I just say something? Yes. Uh, just so we don't get confusion, I'll put a link on the home page of the website of keshfoundation.org. So there's no confusion of what link to go to. Okay. So it's all been set up in the background. Thanks, Vince. <clears throat> so now we have the teaching, the innovation. And we are looking for about 30 to 50 people in the innovation sector headed by Renan. We already have a number of people who work in the background in innovations. They all come into one center. You can be anywhere around the world. You communicate and work with Renan and you already, some of you have been sending him new ideas or whatever. It will all be categorized, and at the same time, so the vertical structure is taking shape. In so many ways, by being the teachers of the new technology, now we, in a way, evolve it into a product with the research and development, and then we evolve it to manufacturing, and then we have a sales team to be able to market it worldwide. So when we 
produce the new items from now on. Renan tells me we can expect about 10 units per month from him to be manufactured. These products needs to be known by public. So there were two ways to do it. We can go and pay heavily for advertising, or we could bring our product on the channels, which is watched by majority of the people around the world, which is a satellite system on different kind of bird channels. So we are, and we have come to some sort of understanding that the Cash Foundation in the next couple of months will run its own satellite channel for teaching of the technology and promotion of the peace using the new technology. And we use this channel for promotion of the products across the world. So we have reached our goal to teach, to research and develop, to commercialize, to be able to market and be able to reach mass production, mass media. So in so many ways, what we worked for, we have achieved. And with the next step is how we're going to evolve into a new society using the technology. My problem is not releasing the technology. My problem is to bring the world leaders to accept the new technology as a step for peace. And if it takes this to a new level, we agree. Yesterday, I was talking to somebody who's um, very much in the background as part of our security and they monitor everything. Somebody has informed our people this way, Mehran has become one of the richest men on this planet overnight, running 15 companies, expecting multi million turnover. He makes him very rich, richer than Bill Gates over the next 12 months to 18 months. Be it, it's not mine, it's yours. Everything. In my name belongs to the Keshe Foundation and you as public are the owners. If this is the way we can control that humanity benefit by it, it's not my name, it belongs to you. So in so many ways, collectively we change the course and collectively we set the scene that we control it. There is no hidden what do you call it, Illuminati's or the rest. If there is a control over the finances, everything will be as transparent as possible, as long as it doesn't damage the security of the foundation. National securities have suddenly become aware of such a move and such a production. With running, we expect 30 or 50 nations manufacturing and I said that 51% of control of the whole assets and the 49 is owned by the manufacturers and the people of the nation. The 51%, which is in my name, will not allow what happened in China overnight to be written off. This way automatically goes into the cash foundation and all the assets, whatever we make as a profit, will go for production of new units, for teaching and everything else. So there is no waste. And we spent most of the foundation money in the countries where we manufacture, but at the same time, knowing that the others need to be benefited by it. We are on the verge of producing the generator. We are on the verge of producing new equipment which fits into the system and, is, and can be affordable. In the coming days, this morning, I made the instruction to produce a new unit as what we call auxiliary unit or a backup unit or a cascade unit, which can be used in Africa and can be used in Europe as increasing the power from 2, two kilowatt to 5.4 kilowatt for production this morning. So what this means, what we use as an auxiliary board uh, platform to increase the power from two kilowatts to 5.4 kilowatt will be used in Africa as a standard 1.5 to one kilowatt use for a standard refrigeration and lighting in the houses in Africa where the demand is not the way we use in the West. So this way, as I promised, the CD cassette size system become marketable. 
now has gone into production and in the next few weeks we start producing around the world and in uh, especially in china for the african nations and distribution in third world countries when the demand is not so big the other important point which is in, uh, which is vital to understand as we are the teachers we have to set guidelines we have to set up structure and who and where what is happening that collectively we can see uh, correct conduct in the structure of the work and the use of the system in the teaching on tuesday in the health section i again explained that if you are using the plasma technology use it the way it's intended not the way that is going to be used for uh, what you call it uh, in a way of not doing what they're supposed to do and then claiming the whole thing is wrong. We explained it because we've seen a video on the internet that someone has put a box and a CO2 kit nano coated in a plastic construction and saying this is all fraud. The fraud is not a fraud, it's just that German did not understand the technology so we enlighten you when you see it you understand you are dealing with a man who is ignorant of the science but has seen the benefit by promoting health paths and other things using <coughs> using the same technology when you put anything on your nano coated material be the jacket be the plastic bag be it a different kind of coating on your copper you produce a different field in this environment which is not the gravitational magnetic field of carbon and when you don't have the gravitational magnetic field of carbon in conjunction with a copper plate and a zinc plate you will not get co2 so the claim is correct you do not produce CO2 because you change the environment, you don't understand that it's the gravitational magnetic field of the copper nano coated which creates this environment. And when you change it by plastic coating it or putting it in a plastic container or using a copper which has been coated with something else, you have changed the environment, of course you don't get CO2. So you got to be aware that what we call the enemies of the foundation sit within the foundation, but in fact, they serve the foundation to show people exactly what the science is. So in one hand, we sit where we are. When people claim or show you different approach that the technology is wrong, bring it to the foundation. We explain it scientifically. Yes, it's correct. This setup does not create CO2, but because you put the plastic on it, you change it, because the plastic itself has a gravitational magnetic field that, for example, the carbon gravitational magnetic field of six becomes gravitational magnetic of five. Five is different thing, six is carbon, which in conjunction with the oxygen of the water releases CO2 gains. There is a dispute amongst the Keshe Foundation worldwide by the Bulgarians in respect if there is a Cash Foundation Bulgaria registered or not. We do not have an answer for you yet. We have requested by the people who set up the meeting and the documents we signed with the Bulgarian for a copy of the registration at the date we were in Bulgaria. They tell us they have it. We are waiting since Monday for the production of the registration day two years ago when we were in Bulgaria and the Bulgarians tell us they cannot find this registration anywhere but the people who we trust and we sign the agreement with they say it's there if we do not receive or we see a cash foundation registered in the past couple of weeks since that now we start asking questions we annihilate all connections with that foundation and we set up a new one but we do not think so so we stand firm with the people who we sign agreement with. If the Cash Foundation Bulgaria registration as the first Cash Foundation which was signed outside the, uh, 
Holland is produced to us which is signed and registered by the government at a time of two years ago, Cash Foundation Manufacturing will stay with the same people and we obey by the rules we set. If the Cash Foundation Bulgaria registration number falls within past two weeks or past three weeks, now that it's become commercialized, we annihilate all our agreements, we may negotiate with the people again, that we understand everything is correct. We don't accuse nobody of nothing. Some people accusing, some people lying. As the head of the Keshe Foundation, my job is to stay correct in every aspect of conduct. So we have asked the directors of the Keshe Foundation Bulgaria to produce us with the registration of the Keshe Foundation Bulgaria two years ago when we signed it with the notaries. And if it has not been placed, the people who are checking the document say it doesn't exist. We have to rely on trust the people we agreed and signed agreement with. And you have to stay with us and respect their point of view and their opinion. If, as you tell us, you cannot find the registration, it's my job to take the next step and understand why. I've spoken with the director twice in the past week, and he assures me it's been registered, but they cannot send it to us up to the after four days. So you got to realize that when we sign an agreement with any person, we take them on the face value and we respect them the way they are, unless they break the contract. So we respect our agreement the way it is. And by next week, we should know. And then those of you who want to set up alternative cash foundation in Bulgaria, you have to wait and we have to respect the people we sign agreement with. If the agreement was not ever registered by the government to establish a foundation, then we allow you to set up a new one and we nail the old contract. But we've been told and we trust our people that is correct. <clears throat> now it comes to a very fundamental point from the teaching point of view. Please, when you receive your MAGRAF systems, follow the instruction. The new batch, which are getting sent out as of yesterday, have illustrative pages in it. The first batches were missed, but now pictures has been made. Uh, Vince has been working on the documents with pictures. It's been done in the factory, it's filled in, and you receive the new documenting it, how to proceed, how to realign the system. Please read and follow the procedure. Because what you do can affect the use of your system and the equipment you use it in. It's very simple. As you know, we have given a number of units to governments around the world to test units for their production and their correctness of the technology. What some of these people have done in the research labs, because it's a standard way, they have put a meter, a reading meter, they've connected it to the MAGRAF system, and then they have put another meter on this side to see what is the reading either side. And then they have connected it to a light or a heating or whatever. This setup is totally wrong. If you put a meter after the system, you create a cascading of blocking the work of the plasma. And your reading on both sides will be the same because the way the meters are set, doesn't matter analog or diode, digital or whatever, the rotating disk will lock the plasma inside and creates damage into the system. It literally brings it to the point of melting now. You cannot do this. You cannot put a meter before and after. The meter before is perfect. The meter after cannot be done. All you do, you connect directly into your system and you put your heater or whatever. This is 200 watt, this is 1000 watt or whatever. And over days, you observe how if you have, let's say, 1400 watts, if it reduces to 1,000 and it drops down to whatever it is. And then this morning, 
I was talking to the Keshe Foundation in Japan because Keshe Foundation manufacturing in Japan is very active. And they said to me something very interesting. The system, when you connect it, the, the meter here comes to zero. There is something wrong. The system damages the meter. I said, explain. He said, we test it. And what happens after a while, the, the reading of the meter comes to zero and it stops. The system damages the meter. I said, this is the whole purpose we've been trying to tell you. The system stops the usage of the current from the grid because it uses is, uh, what do you call it, only its sinusoidal impulse of 50 hertz to release its energy. But there's a problem. We have changed this meter two or three times. Immediately it happens to the meters. I said, because now, very fast because the system is set up, it gets nano coated, and then it's a true figure because it's not just said, what about if you take our MAGRAF system out and you connect directly your supplies without, they said the meter works again, but when we put your system on, it doesn't work. I said, this is what it's been built for. The system has proven in Japan to work as it's been set out. And so the strangest for them thing is why the meter stops. This is what we told you from the beginning. The meter has to stop, which means you're not using any power. So the Japanese Cash Foundation research has confirmed it. And interesting enough, we've been told one of the leading Japanese manufacturers has locked into the Cash Foundation. They want to be the sole producers in conjunction with Cash Foundation in Japan, which will be set up in the next couple of weeks, hopefully. So you will see power unit, Magra power unit, Cash Foundation in Japan producing this because they could not understand there was something wrong here. But now that they understand this is what it's supposed to do, they are going into the next step. So we are sending a couple more additional units to confirm, and then we will see it. It's taken them two weeks, more or less, to reach zero consumption. They have a heater, they have computers, they have connected LED lights, and a couple of other things that are working at 1,500 watts and under. And they've seen the zero movement on the meter in two weeks. So now we go back into what Rick announced at the beginning. We know a number of people around the world have managed to set up. And what do you call? We are going for the testimonial. What has been done? How has been done? And if Rick or uh, Wins would like to start showing if you have anything or the people who have done the work in the background, please put it on and we can go to the next step. Hello. Yeah. We've seen some French ones have put confirming the correction, the correctness of the application. We've seen different nations done it. This morning, I received a text from Armin asked me for something, if it can be done. And my response to you, Armin, is this is what we wanted to do, and this is what was supposed to be done once the technology confirmation reaches. Now we have done what you have asked is part of the plan, and will be done within the next 48 hours. And keep on sending me the information. I received the first one. Okay, what are we seeing? Can you explain, or is the person who sent it available that he can explain?
that he's a Malibu Beach guy. This is the way Richard showed us to do it. Um, let me, while you're showing this, if you stop one second, um, Cash Foundation Canada uh, is producing um, the system, Jeff Department, hopefully within the next couple of weeks or so, it will complete it. The system that can produce a large quantity of coils and then nano-coat it, gans coat it, and give it the end product. The biggest problem with this technology is producing these coils. So we estimate, uh, I hope, around about 10, 15,000 euro the system we showed last week will be totally automized. So you produce your GANS, you produce your um, nano coating and the coil, everything in one go. So you put the wire in one end, after 24 hours, 48 hours, you collect your, what do you call it, the end product ready as a coil. We have seen a problem, I was speaking to the factory this morning, that for example, in Italy, in the mass production to uh, dispose of the caustic liquid after we produce the coating and the gangs. The Italian government has sent us a bill for two euro per liter for disposal of the product, the waste. And I explained to them that in the next couple of weeks, um, we are setting up a water decontamination unit here, teaching here, or another, it's a research development. It's a guy who's very well into this game. I've used him before, we worked with him before, so we will produce a technology that purifies the caustic from the water, that you don't need to pay this heavy cost to the, for decontamination. In the Western world, it's okay, you're using a little bit of caustic to produce a few coils for yourself, but when you go into mass production of the nano coating and the caustics, um, you enter the environmental health situation, and I was told this morning that um, this is what we've been asked this morning because they want to get rid of the um, caustic which they've been producing in the past two, three weeks in the factory. And they're charging two euro per liter. And if you're producing two, 3,000 liters a week of uh, caustic waste, it adds up literally to quarter million, half a million a year as the production goes up. So uh, I will produce a new technology which in a way, neutralizes as a caustic. It's very easy, hopefully, to do. I've done it before. So you separate the caustic and you have a drinking water and solid residue, where the solid residue from caustic is become part of the next batch of caustics you need to do for production. So in a way, you purify the water. You never create any waste. But you got to realize, as part of the production, or mass production of the nano coating, most of the residual at the end of the caustic water is a gans itself. If you can residual separate it, you can use it as a gans coating for your copper coils. So there should be no wastage. But if you're going into manufacturing, please get in touch with the innovation side and we release the technology for you to be able to do it. Carry on, please. Okay, um, so you can see his um, container that he uses for for the uh, coating of the, the nano coating process and so on. Okay, so we can go on to the next one perhaps. Uh, we have uh, Ali. Uh, from Vancouver, Canada, and uh, we can show his first test video here. This is my first uh, MagGrav energy test, so I'm putting a hand drill and plug it into the system. 
as you can see, I can uh, turn it on and, and it works. No Okay, let me uh, let me redo that with the sound. Sorry. So I didn't add any capacitors now. I'll be adding. I just want to. I just want to also make sure that people are aware that uh, we have been getting lots of requests to get stuff up onto the Blueprint site, um, and we just have to go through the emails to get it up there. So please be patient as we get the new videos up to the Blueprint site. Okay, while you're getting the video up, let me make you make an announcement. Uh, Carlos, who is um, heading all the designs of the websites for us, is sitting right across the room here. Um, uh, we are uh, setting up, uh, the store is more or less complete, where if you produce any nano application or the system application like a pen, pen pads and other things of yours, you can now go and place it on the Cash Foundation sales uh, website. Which means if you locally find maybe a thousand people to see your website, if the product is within the structure and you can get it approved and put it up with the certificate, we give you this platform for sale. We are not afraid. I've asked like uh, Renan with his pens in uh, uh, Philippines to send it to us to put his pens on the website, the shop of the Cash Foundation. So what this means, any of you who produces new products and you want to be still in charge of your uh, products, but you want a larger platform to attract more sales, please get in touch with the webmaster and the arrangement will be made for it to go on the website of the Cash Foundation. There is part of, I have to explain this that you understand. We have closed the PayPal account, uh, as I've asked the webmaster, uh, or I'd call it our designer, Carlos, to look and we come up with alternative cash foundation website financing. What this means is that we clear cards and payments directly. We don't need another group to do it for us. We are becoming substantially big enough that we don't need to go to a clearing house to clear people's payment. So as part of the vertical development within the next, hopefully, a uh, couple of weeks or so, we reopen the Cash Foundation PayPal system by Cash Foundation. Because we are not selling other people's products. We're selling our own products across the, um, what do you call it, the, the world. So everything will be exactly directly in-house with no expenses. But this allows us, hopefully, Carlos can bring it into line in the next couple of weeks, that we become the clearing houses for the payments ourselves, and we don't see the restrictions which is applied. We are very transparent. We, we submit this through our connections, through the banking system, to be clarified that from in the coming time, you go to the Cash Foundation payment system. Uh, if Carlos can bring it or organize it, that uh, we don't go for others that they can control or block or ask or do all sorts of things to stop the process of the sale. This way, because we are only selling our own products and we are financially solid, we do the clearing ourselves. We are in that position to do financially. So I see people, hopefully, Carlos is looking at me. Yes, no, difficult. He's working on it. <laughs> No comment. So if we can if we can achieve that, we go our way. If we cannot achieve that, we go through other clearance houses. But this is a lot of work to be done. And in the world banking, that we don't receive money from illegal activities of the others. So this is what this is part of the vertical process. Becoming such an international operation, we need to do it that we, we effectively operate our own uh, financing internally and we don't wait and all the problems which is running with other credit cards and the rest of it. The process is you have a system like a nano coated pens as we've seen with uh, Renan uh, for a pain uh, pens. This will go on the Cash Foundation store. You can order it through the Cash Foundation and the order directly goes to Philippines for dispatch. 
So this is part of the structure which is getting built in the background. If you have any products which you want to, is application of the plasma technology, which is part of our work, uh, we give you the platform to market it. That's the whole purpose, to make as many people being able to create jobs and prosperity for the nations and their community and their family. So if you produce a new kind of nano pen or new kind of nano material to use, then uh, you don't need to look far. You can go to the Keshe Foundation website if you want to market in a larger scale and you don't have the support, we send it to the research section innovation. If they see it applicable, that we can make the prototype and see there's application for it, we finance it. The Cash Foundation does not look outside for any financing. So internally, we support new innovation. Internally, we support manufacturing. Internally, we are supporting the factories around where we support to produce things. So when I see that pencil with a winding on it, uh, it brought me back the understanding of um, what I call uh, pen, pen of uh, uh, Renan. And now we give them a platform international and a cash foundation. Cash foundation, Philippines, maybe a few people look, but the traffic on the cash foundation worldwide where hopefully when Carlos with his team brings everything together, all the cash foundation websites go from one server, which means all the traffic will be in one, so everybody goes to its own destination according to, but you can connect your shop on your website to the Cash Foundation website. So you give your product priority, and then they can look on other options, or if they just want to depend, but they see other Cash Foundation manufacturers around the world produce other things, they can order on the same platform. It'll take another, I think, three to six months before we get there. I'm correct? Carlos says yes. It won't be done overnight. Uh, wins. Uh, Rick, sorry. Uh, Carlos asks you, can you please go into your email? He has sent you a video which was sent yesterday by somebody to the website. Yep, I've got it all lined up here. Yep, thank you. Uh, Got that lined up. There's uh, uh, two, I think. No, we're seeing so the web page, correct? Same one, I guess. Okay, okay good. No problem. Carry on. Okay, so, I so keep on adding to the information. Today is mainly part of the blueprint day, and then uh, what do you call it? The Thursday teachings. But these are important because we taught. Now we have to see the result of what has been taught and how people are taking it. Carry on, please. Okay, uh, first we can uh, have a look at the short uh, video he has here. And the other one that Ali has uh, that was just sent to me, it's about four minutes long. We can have a look at that as the actual MagGraph unit. So, Rick, we're still looking at the web page. <clears throat> yes, I was gonna show that video in the web page uh, first the short one and then show oh, okay Thank and you. then show the um, uh, video from Ellie okay so let me just run through this short one here first uh. this is my first uh, Magrav energy test so I'm putting a hand drill and plug it into the system as you can see I can uh, turn it on and, and it works So I didn't add any capacitors now, but I'll be adding it soon and do some more tests and do energy consumption tests. Thank you. Bye. Um, let me do... I add another piece of information here. These units with a cascade unit for 5.4 kilowatt is in progress, but now we have started the research on a 50 kilowatt unit. So. In the next um, couple of weeks, uh, we have received requests by industry for a three phase and a 50 kilowatt system. Um, it's, uh, it is possible, it will be tested in the coming days. So not only will offer a two kilowatt, we'll offer a 50 kilowatt for industrial use. 
This is for uh, use in hospitals and use for like in the lift system as a backup system that the power never goes out. So uh, 50 kilowatt is uh, started testing in the past few days and then we carry on. I see, uh, what do you call it, Giovanni shaking his head. Um, is part of the development which um, we are negotiating with different people. Carry on, please. That's what. I tell you okay. something before we go uh, step further. We have been offered a government financial package for research and development, which means uh, European nation government has offered us, we know it on the 19th, the result, that they are financing research center paying for scientists to start developing different application of cash technology in the sub financial supported by the grant from the government. So the research center is with support of the foundation. Now they have tested the power unit has been authorized. We know how much, how much it will be. And uh, it runs into millions. That they are supporting us to set up a proper research center, but they want to dictate to us the position, which we have no problem with. We are international business. So we have received the first offer of research, uh, government supported research for development of the technology in the past 48 hours. And by Tuesday, if it's confirmed, which we know is going to be confirmed, this allows us to employ scientists at the Keshe Foundation Research Center uh, with the support of the governmental finances for research for new technologies. Carry on, please. Which one is this one? Okay. Uh, this looks like the new one from Ali. From Ali, okay. You want to turn it on that we can see? And Rick, do you also have uh, the the other let video me, let from me advise you. Let, before you go, I see something here with a plastic with a like tapes on the capacitor coils. Do not use tapes, glues, uh, hot glues on your capacitors. Your system is going to burn out. And your tapes will start melting. This is very important. Because you have to understand the process of the working of the heating. It's a plasma, it's near another plasma unit of your stacker. If you remember when we taught the teaching of how the heating on the planet Earth is created, you are putting a matter which is weak compared to the turn of transfer from here to here. So in this position, you'll find out after a few weeks, you're, I've lost it. It's gone back down. Hello. Do it on your second screen. Okay, so what happened? The plasma in your capacitors, because it's plasmatic, with the plasma in your coils or the second batch of capacitors with the plastic coating will create a resistive condition of heating. This is very, very careful. Be very careful. This is one of the pitfalls. You cannot use tapes. You cannot tape your system. If you use like the Gans material coated as part of the structure is different than when you just put like plastic or tapes or whatever on your coils. You create a resistive condition and then you create a heating condition. Please, even with Ali, remove those before you go into the setup because then you can, you can see system failure because of what you have created. Okay, go ahead, please. So uh, on the wall, I have a meter here, 
and basically this is the uh, grid so it's uh, it's I have to keep monitoring the the power consumption and there are two ways I can uh, monitor it one is daily based on kilowatts and I can also monitor it based on watt per hour uh, at any moment and the power comes in to the system here and there's a little tiny switch here which I turn it on and off and it comes here and I added the capacitors so um, there are two lines one is the live wire uh, let me bring that up okay so there's a live wire as you can see it's coming into the 15 amp uh, breaker and here's the top part of it okay and this is the um, the negative uh, uh, basically neg the the, gra the negative from the grid and it goes here and it and it basically gets fed to the load here okay between the load uh, we have to put a capacitor according to Keshe's desi Keshe's design and I have um, five capacitors stacked here this is the positive pole this is a negative pole so if this is negative negative goes to positive and and you got the negative here gone to the positive pole here okay uh, from the top here uh, which is the live wire uh, so this is a live wire we have a live wire I cut a piece here and I connected that to the uh, negative side of the capacitor and then it's gone down to the negative pole of the coils and basically the, it goes through the coils, it turns and it goes to the middle coil and it turns and it comes to the top coil and it turns. Okay, and um, um, I put a, a smaller GANS ball here. Uh, I had a ping pong ball that was a bit too big. Uh, what I did, I used uh, Christmas uh, plastic balls and these are smaller and uh, if you take the top part out, there's a little hole here that you can uh, use a syringe and fill it up. Once you fill it up, you can simply tape it, or if you have some sort of a filler, you can fill this part so the, the GANS doesn't come out, okay? So, um, so anyway, the positive wire goes in and it comes out, out, out uh, from this top part. <laughs> and uh, there's a capacitor there's four capacitors I put here so if this is the negative pole of the coils and this is the positive uh, polarity of the coils um, I put you have to sort of go opposite so this is positive to negative and then this is negative to positive okay and then I got the wire coming out and it's coming feeding the live wire on the plug here okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna turn the device on now um, so I have a breaker here I turn it back on and basically this wire goes to a LED light that I have I have uh, two lights here one is this one and one is on the top uh, I'll add more load onto it uh, what I've seen uh, with my magrav unit is that when you look at the load and uh, initially like the load goes around 31 32 and within you know few, an hour or two this thing slowly drops so it comes to 29 and 28 so I'm interested to monitor this and see how the load comes down uh, over the next uh, two or three weeks and I'll keep you updated thank you bye No, it's just that his plastic coating, or what do you call it, the, the glue or the tapes is used. Do not cover your material, your coils, with any matter entity. That can cause you a problem. There is another thing I have to tell you. Um, it's going to go on the website of the Cash Foundation, hopefully on the store within the next day or two, if you get a chance. It, once you make your coils and you have a problem with making a stacker unit, you can go into the Cash Foundation website, 
and order the stacker unit, just a plastic uh, cover with the trays in it. So you can make your own kit. Once you made your coils, you can order the, what do you call it? The, the housing with the trays and everything else. It's three trays with the three walls, top and bottom. We are modifying for easing of the production now that we produce the 1,500 units. We've seen some uh, need for changing for ease of the production, mass production to speed up. So you will see a slide, maybe you might see it or not, different uh, way of the blue box. But uh, uh, so if you are looking for housing, you can order it from the foundation and we send it to you. We received the first order, 20 units for the Canadian manufacturer that they want to build their own, they put the test their own coils in it. So it gives it the uniformity. So you can order uh, in the coming weeks, you can order even coils. If you want to test and make your own, you can order coils. We deliver coils according per set. You can order capacitors. This is part of the vertical development. So you can go and section by section order what you need. Okay, go please. The microphone. Uh, I've noticed that people are using the parchment paper as well for wrapping the, um, uh, or what's called um, oven paper sometimes for uh, yes, wrapping. We are using the same kind of thing. Well, I've noticed, uh, I did a test on it with, uh, with just using a, a flame and it burns very rapidly actually after a certain yes, temperature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you have to understand. There is a difference putting a match to it or passing current through it. Mm -hmm. Big difference. Right, right. But it is flammable, just so people know. And yeah, it there is. It's a, it's a holding not to burn. We can mm -hmm. use fireproof cloth, it will be the same. The yes, thing. right. That would be better. And there is a question about in the chat here about using uh, shrink wrap for um, over the uh, capacitors. But no again. Way. That was that would, no. yeah, that could still melt and burn. Yep. No, 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 no. We have devised uh, what they call like a cross, where we put each capacitor on one uh, ninety degree of the cross, so mm -hmm. the system stays open. Okay. It's a new development we've done for the mass production. Okay, we have a. What's this one? We have uh, this video I, I noticed was uh, along with the other one, but it, this is from Roald Boom, and it's happened to be on the same uh, uh, YouTube website, so I thought we could play part of it. It's uh, 13 minutes long, so it's kind of long, but we can play. Would it, Rick, would it not be better to play his latest video, which is after Mr. Kesha talked to him and advised him of the... Uh, okay the meter situation that he just described this morning. All right. Thank you, Vince. Um, that would be, uh, let's see My here. Is Boom, and I'm the creator of Bonavista. Uh, turning on my do-it-yourself Maggrav. Yeah, there's that one in the latest modifications, which is just after he talked to Mr. Cash. Last modifications. Okay, maybe we'll have a look at that first. Yes, with this one, he was putting a meter after the system. Which, okay. uh, there is a way we monitor a lot of things in the background. And when we see something needs to be corrected, especially when people go public. All right, so this is my latest update. Um, yeah, I had a couple of questions. There were some unclarities. Um, one thing is for sure is that I look back over the video on November the 4th about what Kesha explained the, um, the direction of the clockwise, the way you turn your drill, and everybody that has been posting those things, it's uh, confusing because basically Sandor did it wrong and there were posts wrong and where I can see Richard as well has done it wrong and many other people have done it wrong because right now it looks like what he explains when you put your drill in reverse and I double checked it and I uh, made some coils basically the coils that I have are the opposite direction so for one my system is with coils that are clockwise and not anti-clockwise mine 
are differently done. So that is, um, for me, clear at least that what he says, how they're doing it. The blueprint of, um, that they put out with the pictures in the PDF basically is the right way and not the wrong way. They are correct. It is the drill turning in reverse. The drill is turning anti-clockwise. And that makes for a coil that looks clockwise but is called anti-clockwise. So basically when the drill or the bar is turning anti-clockwise, it makes a clockwise coil and that's what they call an anti-clockwise coil. Confusing, but um, hey, I got my system already set up, so I'm going to run it this way, which is the opposite direction. And I'll make uh, some new coils see. and then uh, do some caustic. I think we see the same problem here, if I'm correct. Or are these coils open? You can't wind up plastic or tube around your coils. Uh, those are those are uh, heat resistant uh, shrink wrap. We don't need it. You do not need it because you create a matter condition in it, and it creates heating. Let me explain why. Can we go on the main port? You understand it very quickly. Can you just take the screen share? If you can go back on the board for a minute, please. Let me explain. Um, Okay, you see, uh, always when you don't understand it or sound a bit peculiar, go back to natural condition, environmental condition. We explained this last week. You have the sun and you have the earth. On earth, we have mass lands or we have the waters. These are all at this level matter state. The, Gravitational magnetic field of the Earth and the Sun creates two fields, one this way, gravitational, and one this way, gravitational magnetic of the Sun. When they interact, they create fields, they release residual fields here in different shape or form. But when the two, plasmatic and the residual, come in the interaction with the matter state of uh, Earth, they start heating up. That's where our heating comes. What you're doing, you're doing exactly the same thing. You're introducing your plastic coating or whatever, fire resistance or whatever, between a plasmatic magnetic field of your capacitor and the gravitational magnetic field of your coils, or even one capacitor in respect to the other. This creates heating, exactly like what happens on the surface of the Earth. So you have to understand this. And please do not, as they say, Renan um, says, do not mummify it. Do not mummify your material unless you have a gas which becomes part of it. When you put a gas on the cloth, it penetrates it, it becomes part of it. So you don't have that much resistance. But please, if you're making capacitors, try not to mummify it in any shape or form, because you introduce what I call like a solid structure of the earth, and then you create heating, and then this heating, becomes resistance in your system. So instead of two kilowatts, now you have the capacity of one kilowatt and you say the system doesn't work. So it's a plasma heating, not a physical yes. heating. Yeah, it doesn't contain the plasma. It reduces the plasma strength across. So please understand, this is what we even said when we, the, our people had to go to the, the standard people for the CE certificate. They understood this is a new development. We have to go with what it, if it delivers, it means it's correct. So we have to adjust it. So what we have made with our capacitor unit, the units more or less hang in the air together with a cross, they are free. But when you mummify it with plastic, we see now two of them to keep your capacitors together, you create a heating for your coils. Now you've introduced a new heating element and you say it only works for one kilowatt because the other kilowatt has come from your own coils mining together. The coil after, which is in parallel with the uh, grid, is no problem. 
the one which is before as part of your setup, they become a resistance to your system. Okay, carry on please. Uh, nano coating. So it's going to take me a couple of days to get a new coils made, a new system made, but that's not a problem. I'll make another one and uh, run that one as well somewhere else. But for now, I'm just going to go with this one because I've got this thing ready. Uh, I had some more questions about the capacitor as well, so I took, con I took contact about this with the. Can you stop, Rick? If you made coils which are in a different way than the left turn, anti clockwise, or if you made coils which one is clockwise and the other one anti-clockwise, do not get rid of them. Because in a coming time, we teach you how to use them for another purpose. If you made coils clockwise, keep them. It's beautiful. You, haven't, you made a mistake in winding for the power unit, in the magra power unit. But we show you how to use it in other applications that become beneficial. Anything you made you think is wrong, hold on to. Don't forget I'm married to a Belgian woman and they have a habit, they hold everything. Even your nail cutting is kept, one day might be needed. So you have to understand it's a habit of life after 20 odd years. Uh, so what you got to do, please, if you made coils you think is the wrong way, if you made coils which thing is uh, the two, one coil is positive way, the other one is clockwise, the other one anti-clockwise, hold to it. Hold on to it as much as you can. It's the effort you made. And then in the coming days, we show you how to apply it for different application. It has an application. So don't get disappointed. I made the coils, I invested, and the coil is, was the wrong way. Keep them. They have a huge application. You'll be surprised. The applications we're going to show with all the mistakes you made, we say where there is a muck, there is money. So from your rubbish, you start understanding how to use it for different applications. Don't get rid of, as he said, he's going to make a new coil. Keep these coils. They have a huge application. Because what you do next time, you use a clockwise against anti-clockwise. You create a resistance between two field forces. If it's set up in the right way, it can create and become a heating element. Plasmatic heaters. Just keep it. We teach you. You can't do it. If you do it the way it is, you made a mistake, it's not going to work. There is a, there is a trick. And now we are developing that trick. And we can show you. You can literally heat up. Your, you use these coils as a plasmatic coil. This is part of what I call the background research we are doing. And Mr. Kesh? Pardon. We, yes. yes, like you said, we, we have to make sure that this is uh, this is a new technology. Anything we do cannot be considered as wrong because we just don't fully understand it. Yeah, nothing is wrong. With a plasma, you can never go wrong because if your work is wrong, the work of the creator is wrong. And when the things go wrong, a new thing appears out of it. It's you who's got to realize what the new thing is. You're working not with a matter state. You're working with a plasma state. Plasmas interact in the interaction. If you do it the right way, you can use it for different applications. Hold on to everything you make because we're going to show. It's the beauty of it is the easiness of it. I always say, and remember, it's if you understand what I say and take it into heart, that is, Everything you see in the universe is the outcome of interaction of gravitational and magnetic field of different strength. And not two stars are the same. They are created out of a different strength interaction positioning. So in the universe, you never, God made it this way that he never makes a mistake because even the mistake leads to something new. So. Remember this and hold on to whatever, even your ganses, even if you come with something which is a slightly different, hold on to it. Last night I received a picture from Armin. He says, I've created new beings, but what are they? I said, take a sample, 
take you to a laboratory. If it's not something which is grown on the system, you have created a new life because you created new condition which is in here. And so we'll see if he has created new life. He left the box there for three months and he sees new animals on it. So we do not know. This is the beginning of a new venture for humanity and we are all in it. So you made the call wrong. You made the nano coating wrong. One part of the nano coat, copper doesn't nano coat with the other has a huge application. Just hang on to them. Make a, a storeroom of mistakes which then become perfect goods. So please, as he said, he made a mistake he's gonna make. Keep these coils. You made the wrong warning, whining, keep the coils. You have a problem with part of the system nano coating, keep these things. You have a, a you made a mistake in making capacitors in the wrong way, keep all the pieces you make which is wrong to you because in the coming days they become assets as part of what you have already worked on immediately say oh i have it like you use it so i'm going to make it carry on please uh thank you very much for clarifying that mr Kesh. that's a, a big question a lot of people have and that'll help uh, settle that out okay let's carry on Foundation. I can't um, contacted Caroline. I contacted Sandor, and both of them were kind enough to answer my um, my uh, questions. In fact, Caroline was um, kind enough, especially considering the time of night, because it was yesterday for them. It must have been past ten. Um, for me, it's five hours earlier, but for them, it's past ten in Europe. So um, they were kind enough to uh, contact me, and Caroline arranged for Mr. Keshi to come and speak to me. So we went on to Zoom. And we spoke for about 10 minutes and I asked him a couple of questions. Um, so I want to thank them for taking the time, especially at such weird hours, to actually uh, address it and talk to me, which is very kind of them to do. Uh, I wasn't expecting it, but as they say, their motto is we serve. Um, and we don't need to be served, but we serve, which is great. They actually did proven one more time, to me at least, that they are keeping their word. So um, thank Sandor and Caroline and Mr. Keshe. So when I spoke to Mr. Keshe, one of the main questions I had was, do the capacitors need to be dry or wet? Basically, he said the capacitors need to be as dry as they can, um, but a paste is enough. So when you have a toothpaste type substance of your GANS, and your GANS is not any droplets forming on the top, that means your GANS is good. It's like a toothpaste consistency, not so wet. It, of course, is moist in there, but it's not wet. Otherwise, it would be powder uh, once you have dried it completely. So there is moist in there, but it's not wet. Otherwise, your system can blow. Then, so that is resolved to me. Basically, pasty substance, and they'll dry out more as you go along. Then there was another question, which is how is my system is correctly set up? I walked him through the entire thing on my laptop, uh, showing him with the laptop camera, which wasn't so handy. So I ended up buying a Logitech uh, little portable USB camera with microphone in it today. So maybe next time and I have a better way to show this, tongue, this thing. And, but basically he looked at it, he said everything looks like it's hooked up correctly. The only thing that uh, he said he wanted me to remove is the meter, the second meter. He said basically the plasma field that's created in there gets disturbed by the extra meter and you won't have the effect that you want. So he asked me, he said, if you want it to work right, you have to remove the second meter at your load side. So that's what I've done. I've removed the second meter and I've put my load uh, plug on directly on the cable. So the red live wires coming out and going into the load plug and my black wires coming out in the capacitors there and then it's coming over here. So that's what I've removed, that's what I've changed. I follow Mr. Cash's instructions. He's the one that came up with this stuff. I did not, I would have never come up with this coil stack thing by myself. I'm just somebody that's trying to apply it. Um, but, so I'm following as far as I can, as much as I can. That's the way I'm trying to do it. But we know now that my coil stack, all of the coils are, are wound the wrong way, or at least, I don't think it's gonna matter. I'm gonna try and run this system. To me, in fact, this is plasma. This is beyond, you know, this matter stuff and the directions and things. So I'm just gonna go for it, but I'm also gonna make a new set of coils, which is gonna take me a couple of days. But this is the changes I've made. Now, one of the things that I had about this entire system was that, that we had another meter there because we could check out differences. Now, that's not there anymore. We know that now. But Mr. Keshe said the following. He said, what you need to do is you need to start running your system 
with the amount of load that you know you have on the system, in my case I have that fan over there, it is 67.3 watts, and I'm going to hook it up to my load, and I'm going to start running it. And I'm going to start, when I run it, take the meter count, and every 24 hours I make a new measurement count. That way I can start seeing, and I should start seeing, the amount of electricity that I'm consuming reduce every 24 hours. So that's what he's saying. Your load will start off taking electric en energy out of the meter, out of the grid. But as the plasma field starts to build, basically the machines on the load side, in this case the fan, will start running not only on electron elect electricity from the grid, but will start running also on the plasma field of energy, right? So that's one thing. Now, my control group, which I have another video about, where I'm going to hook up an identical fan to the one over there and an identical meter to the one over there, I'm going to put it away from this system, even away from this circuit board in another part of this, this house. And I have that hooked up identically so that we're also going to take measurements on that. So my control group is still going to serve in the way that these measurements and those measurements can be compared. I'm going to take both of these meters every 24 hours. And if everything is right, this meter should start taking less and less and less electron energy from the grid, and the other system should be every 24 hours the same amount of consumption, because that fan is going to be running 24 hours a day. So this is the new setup. Thanks again for Mr. Keshe, Caroline, and uh, Sandor for getting in touch with me and answering some of my questions. I really appreciate it. And um, I also wanted to mention to everybody that has been posting um, and um, commenting on my posts, on my YouTube videos, on my Facebook page. I thank you very much for the appreciation that you've shown for the um, videos and everything. I've gotten a lot of good comments uh, and uh, compliments, so I really appreciate the uh, acknowledgement there. And I'd like to acknowledge that to you guys as well. So thank you for all the posts. I do want to mention that at this point it's becoming a lot. So um, this morning I answered two hours, yesterday an hour and a half. Uh, it took me, you know, this morning, like I said, two hours of Facebook and YouTube to get all this stuff answered and, and read. I can't keep up with it anymore because now there's so many views and so many likes and so many comments that I can't keep up with it anymore. But if I want to focus on this project and run it, I'm going to have to focus on this project uh, and answer fewer of the mail. So I'm going to try, but I can't guarantee. So if you don't get any answer, don't be offended. I am not... Um, not interested, but I don't have an, enough hours in the day uh, and enough energy to, to, to attend to all of it. So I'm going to just attend to it through my videos, and hopefully my videos will be clear enough that all the questions that you have are going to be answered anyway. So just please watch the videos. I'll try to answer everything the way I can that I know best to answer and the, the, uh, the knowledge that I have gathered so far, remembering that I only started this two and a half, three weeks ago as well. The 20th of October is when I discovered this thing. And before that, everything was new to me. So I'm also learning. Uh, I don't have all the answers, but I'm doing my best, and I hope it helps. So uh, thanks again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. It stopped. Can you go back, please? Can you just go back and feel just the board? Okay. I don't know if you've been as part of the teaching or not, but most of you haven't. Let me explain to you what is going to happen, what has happened. If you go back, as I was, uh, as in our private teaching, especially Mr. your teaching, we have had these meters and the fans for decades. When we look at the wire which comes into the power unit, or the wires just before the power unit, we always have seen copper coating just a copper wire. One way that you will see if your system is working and is done the right way, after a couple of weeks, when you check these wires or this wire, you should see start seeing nano-coated black. Or a slightly tinted than the copper, normal copper, which means the nano-coating process has started. This is a very good indication to know 
if your system is working correctly or not. And this shows that the system is feeding power into the supply. Because we've used these fans onto these plugs without this unit for decades. The copper wire, the state copper wire. Now that you added this unit in, if your wires go black or this color, which means they are getting nano-coated, it means the energy for nano-coating is vast. You have to understand what they call a Coulomb's barrier. At the moment, in the fusion technology, we are spending a fortune to cross the Coulomb's barrier from two atomic hydrogen to create helium to create this dream heat. So when you see this change of color of your copper wires after the system, you have created enough energy to cross the Coulomb barriers that a molecular structure of the copper, which is a very heavy element, to its atomic structure. So it shows the system is extremely powerful in the plasmatic condition. And this shows what we say, even in the manuals you receive, that to be correct, you can be feeding up to six kilowatt electric current down your pipeline, nano coating the system. This is very important. So when you put your test system on and you think it doesn't work, one of the easiest ways, look at your copper wire before your system. If they are not coated, it means your system is not doing what it's supposed to. Then you'll love the next video, Mr. Gash. Yes, let me wait. This is what we saw with the governmental testing. They say they open the wires, there is no color change. I said, what happened? Oh, we put a meter here. I said, you put a meter there, so you cascaded it. You cascade the whole operation. So, in a way, if you put a meter here, the process stops from the production plant. It's the way the meters work. If the meters had direct wire connection, and not the reversal with the eddy current would have been different. So in a way, what you feed back through your system in the electric current is the reverse plasma of what you call eddy current. Is the reversal, is the gravitational pull which is causing the uh, coating. It's a gravitational magnetic field from this, your grid where your magnetical field, which is what you call the line, is the power supply. So understand this. If you run a system and you see it doesn't work, just open a piece of wire before your system. And if it's not discolored or it's not black, it means your system is not working. It's still in the matter. So you have to find out what you've done wrong and correct it. Carry on, please. There is something which I just saw a note coming up that can we use olive oil? I don't know, maybe yes you can, because then it doesn't allow the material, but then you introduce a matter state. But as we have seen with the coils, with the cores of water and GANS, the water in the center become behaving like a GANS, like the liquid in the body of the man. Maybe it's a very good idea. Somebody tries and tell us if the oil inside the GANS very small amount of it, you don't go crazy with it, maybe one or two percent, will give the ability for the GANS not to link up as water to dry evaporation in the environment. It's a good idea. We've been brought this up before and we forgot about it, but maybe somebody can test it and tell us. And uh, some, pardon, pardon? Some, some people have used the um, coconut oil on the nano-coated material, the nano-coated copper to to protect yeah, it as well. these are the things we have all learned together and if benefits one of us and we see a better performance, that's what we are here for. That's why we don't create any patterns. Collectively, we share knowledge and it benefits all of us. The other way to do it, as I explained in the teaching, when you're making your GANs, you just, just add a very, in your solution, before you bring it to paste, add uh, liquid puts, let's say, half a spoon of sugar in a boiling, a small amount of boiling water, let it um, liquid dissolve, and add that into your 
guns before you bring it to paste. Add that through to the guns you're putting on your nano coating. And then add a few drop of the caustic which you made in nanomaterial. What this does, this not only glazes your nano coating to the, the guns to the material, if you have a burst like a surge of power and your nano coating literally blows off, after eight to 10 hours, it builds by itself again. The caustic is in the structure, but in the powder form on the guns, it helps your nano coating to rebuild. You don't need to take the system out. If you have a failure with your system by a big bang, which a lot of you must have had or will have, just leave it for eight or 10 hours. Let the nano coating to redevelop itself. It grows, it's a skin. If it doesn't come, it means there's a problem between your matter state at the junction of your capacitor and the terminals. This system cannot fail. It's kick proof. That's why I showed you the first time when I told you you can kick it, because it's a solid state plasma. So learn the little tricks, it might help you. It was a nice comment about the oil. If anybody has tested, test it with the capacitor, see if the capacitor stay alive for a long time. Yeah, and then we'll see how how it helps the others. Would the oil create a lubrication for ease of the coils if you use them for nano coating or gas coating the coils, that the coils stay vibrant and they create more energy? These are the things we learn together. That's why we teach this way. And then try it, let us know and put your comment up and come back next week or the week after and explain to us. And then we follow, we all learn together. Okay, can we have the next video, please? Okay, it's now seven o'clock in the morning and my system is going on. Just to confirm here, I have 1.3 kilowatt hours on the meter, same as the other meter. Uh, I have changed the setup like I've shown you in the last video. And I've changed one more thing. I've made little peepholes uh, here and over here. I've made little clear tubing so I can see if the nano coating happens on those side, that side of the copper cable. So this is the fan that I'm going to turn on. And first I'm going to plug in this socket over here. This is measured to be my live. That's why I took the plate off. Make sure it's live. So that's in. And now I'm turning on the fan. So I'm going to put it at the max speed, which is um, at 67.3 watts. No sparks. So it's turned on. Now I don't want to touch these cables anymore because they should be live. So it's something to be careful of. But the system is running. No sparks from my um, capacitors. And the meter is rolling. So now I'm going to move over quickly to the other control group and turn that on as well. So it's on, guys, uh, which is today, uh, what is it, 11.11, I think. So um, I'll go turn the other one off right now. On, right. All right, so this is the control group. It's been, uh, I just turned the other one on a minute ago. Uh, the only thing I've changed here is because I forgot to turn this thing off. I, I didn't stop it at 1.3 exactly. So I took the other meter that I took out of the control group anyway on the second meter from the other platform and I put it here because it's exactly 1.3. So and I'm going to stick in my socket over here. I just stick that one in. I'm left handed, I'm right handed so. And this is the fan. Same fan as the other one. Going at three as well. I'm going to tape these so nobody turns them off and at 1.3 my control group is running as well 1.3 kilowatts starting today at seven o'clock in the morning on the 11th of november 2015 and i'm going to take measurements every 24 hours Any reports yet? 
Any comments on that, Mr. Cash? Or, uh... Oh, it's a genius way to show the copper wire that way open. We should have had one before the unit as well. But remember, um, there is a slight um, adjustment that in your home wiring, uh, if you go. So I took the other meter that I. Stop there, please. In your home wiring, the gravitational and magnetic fields are next to each other in the same cable. Here, he, in his demonstration where he's put the copper wire, the what he called negative and positive live and the uh, neutral are too far away from each other. That is part of the process of nano coating. It's not just that the wire goes, you have gravitational and magnetic between two uh, wires, which leads to nano coating. It'll be interesting to see if a single line nano coats, or if he opens his wire after the meter, if you see nano coating in there, because this is what you will see. This is where you are connected to the house. In the, in his demonstration, the red line and a black line are about half a meter away from each other. Then we see it if it happens before with the separation. Or this is what we call one is magnetical, one is gravitational, and it brings the two together, and it leads to nano coating. Uh, Carry on. There was a question earlier about uh, related to that um, about whether the grid would be nano coated beyond the meter if the meter tends to um, throttle the plasma or or uh, yes, cascade it. Yes, it does. It. It does. But how does it get through the meter if the meter doesn't allow it uh, when you put a meter on each side of the unit? That uh, is a different process. Okay. That is, as you have to understand, that's a totally different process. It will be interesting to see if you wire to your, uh, what do you call it, uh, this wire, just nano-coated, the white wire, and this wire doesn't get nanocoated, the black after the meter. We monitor, you let us know. But we have seen the wires here to be nanocoated. This you tell us and we'll see. Mr. Cash? Yes. When you have two meters, say one before and one after, could you well let me undo my other mic here, just a sec. Pardon? I just have to get the other mic done. Um, just wanted to ask you, if you have two meters, one before and one after, could you say that the plasma would be bouncing between them? No, it is the way these, uh, these systems work. You cascade it. It's known as cascading. I'll call it the cascading. You trap the plasma field flow. It is the way it, it's, it's like putting two state of matter and you create a new condition and right you find out it's trapping and bouncing behave as a resistor right trapping between the two yeah this is what we see and this is what we we have seen with the people who are using and developing um when you receive your units in in the post or with your delivery people Please make sure you follow the procedure exactly as is stated. Go to MAGRAF site. There are a number of people asking, where is my unit? If we do not see your units turn up within the next few days or next week or so, then we, we have to check backtrack on their track record, what do you call it, uh, tracking number, to see what it is. If you have a problem with your customs or the, you have to pay a duty, before you get the delivery of goods, because a lot of nations want you to pay duty for importing electrical goods into the nation. It's not that there is a problem. It's if uh, we we don't announce the shipping tracking because of the security and safety. This is the updated MAGRAV unit that I have. This is back again to the same guy. Yeah. So. Um, if you don't receive your units in the next few days, let's say next week, 10 days or whatever, 
get back to us because most probably we get a feedback from your uh, from our shippers that these items are stuck in the customs too that we have to inform you we have tried a number of you have given us addresses which are incomplete am i correct carlos people yes we have sent an email to you please respond to the email with the correct delivery address uh, carlos because the factory has responded to uh, to us that some of these addresses are not complete they cannot dispatch so if you check your email in the next few days if you have received uh, an email from the foundation in respect to confirming your address or changing of the address please respond to it because we can't send it till that's corrected next one Excuse me, Vince, um, Roald was coming online. He He's coming in, in this, uh, he wanted to answer some questions, I guess. Hi, Richard, how's your unit? It's, I'm um, getting corrected on a few mistakes, so I need to uh, buckle up and get along. <laughs> ah, what's the problem where you made a mistake that we can learn from it? Well, I'm running into the lab in like 15 minutes and I'll show you. Okay. Okay, if he's here, he could put up his hand. I, I don't see his name in the list. Okay, just keep in mind that he's coming in and he wants to uh, get, uh, get in. Yeah, now, now you can hear me? Yeah, I don't know if you had any questions. I just came online because for me it's morning. But uh, I saw you guys were touching on some of the videos. So maybe you had a question about something. Any updated numbers there for, for us, World? Yeah, I did have some updated numbers. I have a small drop. I started yesterday on uh, 1.3. And right now I am at 2.5 on one of the meters. Let me check, it's a 300 watt difference, I think. Hello. Have we lost him or is No, it I think there's an echo going on here. Okay. So I have to, I think I have to, yeah, you're probably on live stream or YouTube. You might have to mute, uh, mute that. Yeah, I muted that, so that's okay. So I see a difference in, I think I have to check the numbers exactly, but um, it's um, a minor difference, but it's a difference. So the, the control group is running at 2.5 this morning, kilowatt hours, and the other one was at uh, 2.46, something like that. So it's only 40 watts from what i can see but i have a really small fan hooked up to it so it is a minor difference but it's a, it's a little difference and it's only been 22 hours so yeah, well, I think this, let me let me explain while you're online the difference is that you have to nano coat the line between your unit and the fan exactly and the lower powers you use the slower the process is yeah. If you add like a, a small 500 watt uh, heating fan to both of them, you will see the speed of the reduction will be faster. Yeah, I'm going to be looking for a system that I can be hooking up. But we, I, we live in the tropics here, so I don't have any heating fans here. Oh, in tropics, no, you have a problem. <laughs> I need something else. With uh, about... well, we have the same problem in the uh, in Philippines in our research. Uh, organization there. Uh, what you got to do is find yourself a boiling water system. Something that keeps boiling continuously because uh, you want to run it all the time, right? Uh, yes, you, you don't. Uh, How about maybe... an air conditioner? Pardon? How about a very small air conditioner? 
Yeah, well, we have air conditioning here. The, the only problem is we have two different types of electricity. We got 50 hertz for everything, but we have both 120 and 220 volts here. It doesn't make any difference. The system takes both. So hook up the air conditioning to uh, basically only the, the, the output and just see what happens? Yeah. You can so do it. it burns out, but it shouldn't burn out. Okay, it's a, it's a good test, but because the machine, the air conditioning machine is 220, that's why. Yeah, you need a heavier load to be able to reach a maximum reduction. Yeah, so that means I'm going to say it takes up to about three weeks to, to, to be able to nanocode all the lines before the power unit and from the power unit to your power supply. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll try to find a bigger load, something like 500 watts or something. Yeah. Mr. Cash? Yes. Would it be a good idea to share that document to see if we can go through it to, so that everybody's aware of what uh, needs to be done during the conditioning? Yes, please. Um, you know the link and, um, just let, them, because let me tell you, I can send you, don't put it on. I can send it to you because now in the factory where the pictures was missing, they have taken the pictures and added to the, to the packet. Uh, Great, thank you. Go with it. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, I'm watching your work, uh, see what happens because um, your system should be uh, should be monitored. <coughs> but uh, what you need to do is just wait till I get the dossier from the factory with the pictures that they can see it. With it, oh, unless you want to show it without the pictures. With uh, yeah, I think we can we can share that. I'm just asking if somebody else can share it real quick. Just a, one moment, please. And what we, we uh, will announce hopefully in the coming days or hopefully by next week is the satellite channel that you'll be able to watch the Keshe Foundation, the Spaceship Institute as part of the teaching, and um, uh, what they call it, Keshe Foundation program as part of the World Peace Plan. We use the technology to back up the, uh, the peace program, and uh, uh, I received from our intelligence people yesterday at how Russia is using part of the Keshe Foundation technology towards a peace because they've been monitoring the activities in Russia. And it'll be very interesting if they disclose it to us, we disclose it to you, how the technology is used by Russians in application of peace. Uh, there are the security, international security organizations that are monitoring it and uh, as part of the Keshe Foundation security structure. When it's released to us, we release it to you to see how you can use your system to create that condition of peace and it'll go on the satellite. <coughs> so this is the document. I do believe this is the one without the pictures. Um, so we could just go through it without the pictures, I think. Okay, do you want to read it? I'm blind. Vivek, can you go to the top? Yes, you, you, you've done it. You know what you've got. Uh, actually, uh, this was made by Vivek, one of our admin uh, people and uh, he sent it off to us. So he's done a very good job with it and we all been through it on the admin team. And uh, it was a really good document. That's why we wanted to get the pictures to it. So let, me, let me explain to you something which you might uh, understand. The Cash Foundation team in totality in the background, active more or less uh, full on payroll of the Cash Foundation now has risen between 30 to 50 people, more or less, by end of this month and beginning of next month. So the, the foundation expansion, we are looking for people with expertise who can support different aspects. And uh, um, as uh, Wins just said, like we recruit, they become part of, we are looking for experts in different, even in research and development even in uh, creating a different kind of website. Carlos is looking for a few people to support him with the number of the cash foundations to be homogenized in the, in the structure to be set up. So uh, 
if you have different expertise, somehow get in touch with the master, uh, webmaster. We need uh, uh, huge support. Don't forget now with the uh, distribution with uh, Kevin joining us. We have some two, three hundred plus uh, uh, salespeople, which they rely they're living on the foundation. So we have to keep the products on the line. And on the other hand, uh, we have already a couple of hundred people work for us on the Cash Foundation manufacturing. The research side, we are looking for people. And uh, in the coming days, we will set a special link on the Cash Foundation job opportunities. We need. We have realized there is a problem in our manufacturing side, especially in Italy. It was very fast, very quick. Uh, we need people who understand the structure of how nanomaterial is created, how to manufacture it, and everything else to be brought into line. So if you understand these kind of processes, how to make nano coating and the uh, industrial scale, we need you to, in the different countries where we set up, to teach the workforce the correct way. Then uh, what happened to us, we lost nearly 70,000 euro of goods last week for just this misunderstanding. They've treated as a as this wire, not treated as a magrav or a plasma condition. So if you have any, or you have, ex, what do you call it, taught yourself into these things and you're looking for a job, keep an eye on our job opportunities in, and in all the countries where we put on. We prefer to employ people which have the expertise and the knowledge than going through the training or bring the people who understand to train the others. So we will have a support site up that will have the uh, uh, the positions that we're looking for or the um, expertise that we're looking for uh, to help with the foundation. So that, that will be up very shortly. Uh, we wanted to get it up by Monday, but uh, we just ran into a time issue. So uh, as soon as that comes up, there'll be an announcement on the, of course, the homepage of the keshfoundation.org website, uh, where you'll be able to go to every place that uh, we talked about here today. Yes, especially, I think, with the Cash Foundation Germany going into production and uh, Cash Foundation UK going into production, uh, and especially Cash Foundation Belgium is very solid. There are a lot of people there who understand what they're doing. Hopefully, they, they can carry it through very quickly. Uh, and it's the same with other cash foundation manufacturing. We have, we, we realized it very early on that uh, the workforce needs to be trained and instead of training and spending months for them to understand it, <coughs> if you are looking for a new opportunity in plasma technology and you understand the process, especially industrial size of it, we are, we are looking for uh, people in every section. In, the, in even in uh, what do you call it, in dispatch. We need a huge support in a lot of sites. It's a new organization. And we estimate, as I said, the structure of the workforce with all the nations coming together, the foundation as a whole will employ thousands and well, tens of thousands in the next 12 months. And the opportunity will come from the foundation. We will not go outside looking unless the governments give us the restriction that we have to employ so many people and even those we employ are part of the cash foundation uh, understanding team you take a, we don't take a priority but it gives us a better chance of producing better goods so please keep an eye on the support section and uh, vacancies all the companies of the cash foundation or support team or even if you are setting up a company not carrying the logo of the Cash Foundation, but you want people who understand the MAGRA technology uh, that it can help you with your production, we are there to support you. We are, as I said, uh, what has become and will be carrying the logo of the Cash Foundation SSI will give credibility to the goods. And we have seen it since what they call the C certificate produced, American certificates has been given. So the technology is correct. And we produce a spectrum of goods. We produce goods without fancy clothing, like the weather and magrav system is so fancy, for the uh, international market use for the people who the, the use is important than how it looks, what I call the Russian style, which I always enjoyed very much more than the Polish system, which has problems with it. Or if you want to have a Rolls Royce looking very fancy looking, then you can have the magrav power systems. Uh, so, we are looking for an educated plasma 
workforce. And you've seen it from the German. He only came to run Keshe Foundation in 20th of October and is already producing systems. He can show us what it is. It's you who got to extend the knowledge and we are here to support. But we now, with thousands of Keshe Foundation supporters around the world, and the way we are uh, rising in a vertical situation, there are gaps needed to be fulfilled. And uh, what do you call it? The team, everybody who's responsible for their section will decide on the overall condition. But Keshe Foundation in Germany most probably needs a lot of support of uh, people in Germany who understand the work and they can support. We do a security check. We have a list of number of people who are what we call uh, against the foundation. They think they can set up others, people to infiltrate. We cover ourselves very well. Uh, and secondly, uh, as part of the development of the new technology, national securities have become aware of our work. A lot of, uh, as I said, people in uh, Belgium and in uh, Germany and in Holland start accusing the foundation of everything else. So national securities have woken up. And in the breaking up, they have realized there's a new opportunity for the nation. And in a way, I mean, thank all these people because now they have approached the people around us to support the foundation in that we don't go wrong. So uh, if you're looking for a job and you're sincere in it, and you understand the work of the plasma in every aspect, not only nanocoating. If you have an idea about new computer structure, we can use new plug system, new heating system, new lighting system, and you can combine it with us, join the foundation and make a, what I call contribution towards humanity. Carry on, please. Good morning, Mr. Cash. Good morning. Morning. Okay, I'm uh, just going to quickly read the important parts of the document that we have prepared. Uh, for the first part, I have written over here. Therefore, can you speak it is a little bit louder, please. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, a little bit louder. Okay. <coughs> okay. Over here, I've written. Therefore, it is crucial that the nano coating of all the wires in the household be done in a gradual and systematic manner through the Magrav power unit. And I've also added, it is important to remember that once the Magrav unit is connected and turned on, do not turn off or unplug the unit from that point onwards. It must keep running continuously in order for it to work effectively. And then uh, we go on to say, please read all the instructions before connecting the Magrav power unit. Okay, let's go on to point number one over here. Included with your Magrav power unit is a phase meter. The phase meter is used to determine which plug of your household socket is connected to the live or hot wire. So the steps outlined in point number one, point A, turn on the phase meter and touch each plug of the socket. B, the plug in which the phase meter turns on its light permanently or flashes much more quickly than the other plug is where the live wire is located. C, locate the side of the Magrax power unit plug marked live and connect it correctly to match the live plug of your household socket. And finally, point D, and this is uh, repeated throughout the rest of the steps. If the Magrax power unit is connected wrongly to the neutral wire instead of live, there's a very high possibility of the unit being rendered inoperative and therefore falls outside the scope of manufacturer's warranty. So we stated very clearly that the connection has to be done in a very specific way. That is point number one. May I move on to the next point, sir? Go ahead, Hello? Vivek. Okay. Okay, point number two. This is where the conditioning of the unit starts. Once you have connected your Magrav's power unit to your household socket, turn on the switch on the socket and leave the Magrav's power unit to condition itself to electricity in the household for three days, day one to day three. 
and under that point A, it is important that no load be connected to the Magrav's power unit at this time. The Magrav's power unit will be nano coating the wires around the socket at this time and settling into its environment. Point B is failure to follow this step may cause the unit to be rendered inoperative and therefore fall outside the scope of manufacturer's warranty. Okay, point three. On day four, connect a small LED desk lamp to the Magrav's power unit and allow this to run continuously 24 hours a day for another four days. Day four to day seven. Point A. It is important to note that the resistive loads, such as but not limited to electric heaters, motors with carbon brushes, incandescent light bulbs, and battery, cell phone, mobile chargers should not be connected to the Magrav's power unit. B. This is to allow the Magrav's power unit to send and receive power at the plasmatic nano coated level and not at the metal copper matter level. Remember, the key to Magrav's technology is in the nano coating of your household copper wires via the Magrav's power unit. C. Exceeding the above recommendation may cause the uh, unit to be rendered inoperative and therefore fall outside the scope of manufacturer's warranty. Then we go on to point number four. On day eight, it is time to gradually build up the non-resistive load on the Magrav's power unit. A. Add a small second load to your Magrav's power unit, such as a table or stand fan. B. Ensure that both the stand fan and LED desk lamp remain turned on and running continuously 24 hours a day from here on. C. Allow this new combined load to run for another three days, day eight to day 10. And D is again a repetition of the above. Then we go on to point number five. On day 11, add a small resistive load to the unit, such as a small immersion heaters, immersion heaters, immersion heaters, immersion heaters, immersion heaters, 